Shalom Yisrael. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those Le'akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Alone to is like foreigner brothers that are like the heathens. But the line of the side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which the nation of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is your brother you call Amaf from the branch of Great Mills from LA camp back in the video. And um today's video will be entitled Envy Not the Glory of a Sinner. I just gonna go on some precepts and uh Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, and um I'm going to start off in Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter nine and verse eleven. And it reads Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. That's right. You know, and let's just define the word envy real quick. It means a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. You know, some of the synonyms is jealousy, covetousness, desire, bitterness, you know. Right. You know, so... We're not supposed to feel like that, you know, uh, because, you know, right now, um, Esau, which is a man of sin, according to the Bible, he's a wicked, according to the Bible, the so-called white man. You know, he is in his glory right now. You know, he is in his kingdom. You know, he is in his rulership. You know, the fact that he has slaves, you know, because us Israelites, you know, we're slaves right now to Esau, you know, through the system, you know. And, you know, we often see these Edomites, you know, uh, you know, depending on where you work at, you know, you might see these Edomites just be prosperous, man. You know, you might go into the uh, neighborhoods in Basra, you know, and you might just see like, man, they ain't going through no curses. They, you know, they, they ain't going through no hardship, you know, none of that, you know. Um, so, you know, sometimes, you know, just being honest, me and the flesh, man, sometimes you could be envious at that. You know, seeing Esau and these heathen nations, you know, prosperous, you know, and, and, and they're sinners, you know, and also two thirds of our people, uh, the celebrities, you know, but, you know, we're not supposed to envy them, man, because we know that, um, you know, their substance that they got on this side is by uh, uh, wicked, uh, wicked means, you see. It says, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. Now, we know, you know, the latter end of the wicked is destruction. Now, when you go into another translation in the Apocrypha, when you go to the GNT version, which is a good news translation, uh, it says, Sirach 9-11, it says, don't be jealous of a sinner's success. You don't know what kind of disaster is in store for him. Right, so... You know, meaning, you know, we don't know what type of judgment they're going to they're gonna get. You know, like I said, we know the latter end of the wicked is destruction by the nuclear destruction. When the icy beam missile destroy America, that's the icing on the cake. But we know the Lord, you know, can uh, judge you in various ways. You know, the Lord can take you out through famine, through getting mauled to death by a uh, beast. You know, the Lord can have you be eaten alive by people, you know, so on and so forth. You know, so when it says, for thou knowest not what shall be be his end, meaning, you know, we don't know what type of judgment the Lord going to bring upon him, you know, because um, the Lord has various ways that he can take people out. But we know the icing on the cake of judgment, of the Lord's judgment is that nuclear destruction, you know, it's going to come from the um, icy band missiles to destroy America, you know. So uh, let's go to the next precept. Um, in Sirach 11 and 21, you know, two books over, and it reads, Marvel not at the work of sinners, you know, and when you define the word marvel, you know, marvel definition, it says be filled with wonder or astonishment, you know, it says be amazed, uh, be surprised, you know, so we're not supposed to be surprised. 
at the work of sinners. You know, uh, it says, but trust in Yahweh Moshiach and abide in that labor. You see, the, the Lord commanded us what we should be supposed to do. You know, we're supposed to trust in Yahweh Moshiach and abide in our labor, you know, towards the Lord's name. You know, teaching the word, you know, going out on the highways and byways, week in, week out, being diligent, being a good brother. You know, because all those are are um are good deeds and Yahweh Bashmosha are labors. You know. It says, For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on a sudden to make a poor man rich. Right. So, you know, we already been made rich spiritually through the through having this knowledge of the Bible. You know, knowing the prophecies that was given to us by our apostles. And it was a great millstone. So we're already spiritually rich, you know, even though we can be poor, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, money wise, you know, which the Lord have us to get our daily bread, man. You know, we that's one thing about the elect, you know, that the elect is not going to be super rich because you do have brothers that come from various backgrounds. You know, you do have brothers in the faith. That may have great jobs, you know, that may make great money, but, you know, they, they're still a man of the Lord, you know, but the uh, the elect man of the Lord, they're not going to be in a, in, a, um, in a position of, a, you know, Floyd Mayweather or 50 Cent, and, you know, Jay-Z's in those type of positions, you know, so, you know, it's an easy thing for on a sudden for the Lord to make a, a poor man rich, that's nothing for the Lord, man. You know, but we have been made rich through this knowledge, man. You know, so at the end of the day, man, we're not supposed to be surprised at the works of sinners. You know, uh, you know, they finessing people, you know, scammers, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, whatever the works that they do. We're not supposed to marvel at them, at, be surprised at that, man. You know, and. And don't be surprised if they be prosperous in it, because we know that, you know, um, you know, that they're going to receive the judgment in due season. You see? So, because right now, man, the vilest men, exist, as it says in Psalms 12 and 8, I don't want to, you know, jump the gun. <clears throat> Psalms 12 and 8. And it reads, the wicked walk on every side. When a vilest men are exalted, right, right, you know, and we know Esau is vow, that vow man, according to Job thirty, you know, with, with, uh, when Job was talking about the Edomites, you know, and they are the vilest nation that's exalted right now, man, because Esau been in power for centuries, you know, going all the way back to the Greek Empire, you know, beginning with Alexander the Great, the Greek, you know, the call him the Creek, you know. Then to the Roman Empire, then America now, which America is a reincarnation of the Roman Empire, you know. So Esau got, you know, been ruling for, for uh since the fourteen hundreds, man, for centuries, you know. But what's beautiful is that we are seeing a downfall by enemy, man. We're seeing the Babylon is uh, circling a drain, you know. We see that the fashion of this world is passing away, you know. You see, the spirits of these people is 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 uh 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 is falling, man. Love of many wax and cold, you know. America is not uh it's not a thrill to be here no more, you know. In America, you know the 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 money, the FRN notes, you know, it's 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 tarnished, you know. It's not backed up by gold, silver, or you know, precious metals, you know. The, the morale of this place, man, is decadence. You know, it uh, seems like if you have morals in the society, well, not scenes, but if you do have morals in the society, you look down upon, man. You know, so, you know, this place is going down, man. We're happy, man. And, you know, uh, forget about this place, man. You know, the Israelite man is not loved here. You know, the Israelite man is not appreciated here. Like um, Elder, uh, I believe it was Elder Manata Zakba from GMS South Carolina. He did a video on it. I didn't get to watch it yet, but I just seen the title of it, which, you know, it was true. What he said, you know, on the title. You know, the Israelite man is unappreciated. And that's true, man. So why would we, if 
why would we want to stay here, man? You know, we 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 yearn uh, for the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, we yearn for judgment to come upon, to, to come down on America, man, for this place to be destroyed, man. You know, because the kingdom, we know the kingdom of heaven can't come unless this place be destroyed first. You know, but this is a uh, Psalm thirty-seven and one and two. It says, "Fret not thyself because of evil doers." You know, and like I was saying earlier, man, you know, you can see these heathens, you know, driving the best cars and got the perfect credit and, you know, um, you know, got the best looking woman. And, you know, you see that sometimes just being honest, man, you know, sometimes you can be like envious at that, man. Like, man, because us it's just like, man, we've been brought down so low because of our, our disobedience to you how about some through the curses you know and sometimes you see that man it, it makes you angry because these heathens are a piece of shit man and they get all the glory right now and like they like they're the people of the most high you know talking about the edomites you know and and it makes you angry man you know because us israelites we are princes walking as servants upon the earth as solomon said man and that makes you mad once you when you understand that. You know, but this is Psalm 37 and 1. It says, Fret not thyself because the evil doers. And now when you define the word fret, it's uh from the Hebrew word uh chara, which means to be hot, furious, become angry. So we're not supposed to become angry. Like I said, you know, sometimes you know you can get in that in that moment, man. You know, we seeing Esau. These other heathen nations, even two thirds of these celebs, they prospering. You know, you know they ain't got nothing. They everything is going well for them. You know, like, uh, you know these uh, these moles. You know they got perfect. Uh, they in perfect health. You know. You know <laughs> here it is. You know we, you know we struggling to eat eat better and stuff, man. And we when we start eating when we start eating better, us in the faith. You know eating better and working out and stuff, you still end up getting sick. But here it is, these moles, these H-O-M-O's, men in the world, you know, here it is, they, they're degenerates. They live a vile lifestyle and they're perfect in health, you know? So, you know, that, that just, it just makes you mad, man. But this continues, says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Yes, yeah, so, you know, the scriptures just give us comfort, man, because that's going to happen, you know. And even, um, I'm going to get that scripture next after I read this. Even Asaph, when he when he was seeing the wicked prosperous, he was, you know, he was mad, you know. But let's continue. It says, verse 2, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass. And with it as the green earth, so the Lord gonna cut their ass down, man. The Lord gonna gonna destroy these people, you know, because the latter end of, of, of wickedness is is uh it's always destruction, you know. He could be prosperous right now because the scriptures say, you know, time and chance happen to them all, you know. And that proves the Lord is fair, by the way, as well, you know. The Lord gave everybody a time and chance to to get their shine on, man, you know. Even the Lord is so is so merc uh so fair, he even gave uh, uh Esau a kingdom, you know, which it was prophesied for him to be in rulership, to have a kingdom, you know. But that just shows you how fair the Heavenly Father Yahweh is, man. You know, fair and balanced. Um. But yeah, let's go to um Psalm seventy three. And um. And this is a psalm of Asaph. We read verse 1. And we, we read verse 3. It says, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. See? So even Asaph, you know, he was envious at the foolish man. So it's not wrong to get that feeling sometimes if you feel like that, man. You know? Like you're seeing these heathens prosper and you know, you, you, you barely getting by and here it is you worshiping a true God, your how about Shemoshai and the Son, you know, doing the works according, you know, keeping the laws and commandments to the best of your ability, you know, and you know, and 
seem like you're just getting by, but these heathens, they're not even thinking about Yahweh by Shemoshai, and they're hella prosperous. But we know why, because, you know, time and chance happened to them all. You know, the Lord gave these heathens the opportunity to uh, get their form of glory right now, beginning with Esau Eden. You know, so that's why. But, uh, uh, verse 5 says they are not in trouble as other men you know oh it's like a read verse 4 it says for there are no bands in their death but their strength is form, firm right talking about the Edomites you know because they have a strong um uh you know they they're, they're they have a you know they're able to pass down their inheritance you know to their sons and stuff so they don't, they don't have to deal with the uh, struggles we deal with. You know, here it is. We, you know, we, for the most part, we don't have no inheritance. The Israelite man and woman, for the most part, you know. And, but their strength is for them, man. They, they have family businesses, you know, to carry out their name, their legacy. You know, they got old money. You know, they got a lot of uh, resources, you know, uh, assets you know so their strength is firm man you know they don't deal with the curse that we deal with talking about these edomites you know the, the edomites don't deal with the curses that we deal with the the higher echelon edomites the rothschilds the rockefellers the elites and their uh their families you know it says they are not in trouble as other men neither are they played like other men why because the curse is not upon them right now you know, but we slowly, slowly but surely, with gradualism, seeing, you know, that these curses fall upon these heathen nations, our enemies, slowly, you know. So, so yeah, so that was, that was it on that, you know, and um, uh, I know I said I was gonna get into the scripture, uh, oh yeah, and off on this last scripture, you know, because this is comforting, man, you know, so. You know, I can't, you know, don't, don't be envious at the work, envy not the glory of a sinner, man, because we know that they're going to be destroyed, that their latter end going to be destruction, man. You know, and, and this is just a reminder, you know, uh, you know, first, of course, first and foremost to myself, then to the, you know, to Yachim, you know, if you are in that spirit, man, and being envious at these heathens, hey, you know, we can't be like that because we know they're going to be destroyed, man. But this is a, uh, Sirach 25 and verse 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. And man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Right? So, we are seeing the fall of our enemy. You know, uh, our number one enemy, Esau Eden, the so called white man. You know, but also these heathen nations, man. Because Israel, Israel is beginning on with the elect is 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 rising up by way of this knowledge, you know. So once that happens, then you know it's like a a seesaw, you know. One side goes up, and the other goes down, you know, trading places, you know. So as an Israelite man, the elect Israelite man and the Lord of Yahweh Shemoshai is rising up by way of this truth. You know, Esau and these heathens, they, they're going down. You know, and that's the perfect balance, man. You know, these heathens, you, you Edomites, you wasn't meant to rule forever. You know, your your period your period of rule, rulership was only but for a moment. You know, temporarily, man. It was short li it's short lived. But the kingdom of heaven for Israel, our kingdom, well, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, you know. And the Israelite men, and the, the 144,000 that will be joined with him, the elect, the governing body, that's going to be an everlasting kingdom, man. You know? So, which the kingdom of heaven is going to be, you know, is, is a, in a nut, um, the kingdom of heaven, in a nutshell, the definition is the rulership on the Israel, the rulership of Israelites upon the face of the earth, beginning on with Yahweh's side, you know? So that's going to that's gonna apply to us very soon after this kingdom of America be destroyed. So, so yeah, I just want to, you know, make a lesson on that, you know, um, envy not the glory of a sinner, 
you know, Lord willing, Aqua is edified. And uh, until next time, Shalom.